Well, we're doing something a little bit different this month, folks. I've come to southern France for some late autumn sunshine. And one of the most common questions I get asked by people in Ireland and the UK is where can you go to shoot a wild boar and it not cost the earth? So that's why I've come down here to a guy called Soren Rasmussen. And Soren's company, Kyler.fr, provides all types of boar hunting. We're on a management hunt this, this few days and we're just going to be shooting some middle-aged pigs, some sort of half-grown pigs. But you can shoot some really big trophies here, wild boar, red deer, and fallow bucks. This area is fenced and Soren makes no apologies about that, but it's a massive fenced area. I mean, other than driving in the gate, you're not going to see the fence again. It's densely forested with these green oaks and they provide a perfect habitat and a big food source for boar. So he's just said to me he has a big population of boar and he really needs to take out some middle-aged pigs. So that's what we're here to do and just being dropped off at this beautiful place lovely box seat looking over a lake about 60 yards from me woods all around it so if the boar come out they're going to be nice and close hopefully we'll get some good footage and get some boar on the deck one thing Soren did say he's a massive fan of Paul Childerly that's why he's kitted me out with a Sacco Zeiss combination for you Paul. I know he'd be proud of me. I'm self-filming this trip so we've got the GoPro here, tripod here that this camera's going on. Got various other camera equipment here, binos and ammunition. So we've been sat here now for just about half an hour and things have just calmed down nicely. It's just starting to feel like about that time when boar are going to come out. That is a beautiful fellow book. It's by far the best one I've ever seen on the hoof. He is stunning. There's a boar come out down the track. He's about 200 yards from us. <laughs> a little bit of a rush when I saw him. Hopefully, hopefully they'll come closer. I heard a shot from one of the other guys. <coughs> it's about a kilometer down. So hopefully we won't go hungry tomorrow anyway. Still no pigs here. Just those couple of fellow that came earlier. Beautiful book. And a, a pig a long way down the track. But the wind is just swirling here. That's what spooked those fellow. And it's getting really quite breezy now. Hopefully they might, might just stick their head out long enough. The wind has just totally dropped now. All of a sudden, literally just bang, wind is gone. And it's just gone really, really, really still and quite humid now. Um, I've just heard another shot from one of the other guys. So there's obviously pigs on the move. Light is just going. Starting to get to that point where you just feel like you're gonna, you're gonna get some action. 
absolutely stunning sunset that is, just incredible. Just had, just had ducks come in on the pond. I frightened that boar off. I don't think he'll go far though. We've got the moon just coming up now. I'm really, really frustrated that I didn't shoot that boar quicker. <clears throat> well, I have to say, <laughs> that was absolutely incredible. I was, I was really struggling to get the camera on the pig that I knew I could shoot. Um, those young pigs were just running around, running around playing. There was a coiler there that kept chasing them. Um, it was so exciting. I picked the gun up and put it down probably 50 times. And just as I got the camera on, picked the gun up, they moved, they had a little run. And oh, the pressure was really starting to build. It's, it's really not easy to film your own hunt. As I'm sure a lot of you know, you've tried to do it and it's, it's really not easy, but they just stood three of them pretty close together. And I was like, right, the three are there. Just take one that's broadside, picked up the gun quick as I could and just squeezed on the shoulder. And wow, the adrenaline is just coursing through my veins now. They were out for five, 10 minutes, half an hour ago and I just decided which one was the one to shoot. It's, it's really difficult to tell the size in the IR on the camera and uh, through the scope with the moonlight, it's, it's quite difficult as well, but I could see that what was a coiler and what was a, a sow, these were just a bit bigger than piglets, which are, are perfect to take. <laughs> really, really, really chuffed about that. It was, it was so exciting after three, four hours of sitting here, like when it actually happens, it's, it's just really, really exciting. That really got the blood going. Oh. Oh. I'm absolutely shaking after that. That was so exciting. I've, I've never shot under moonlight before with a rifle and it's, it's quite hard to trust yourself. So I, I kept getting on the target. I knew I was right, starting to squeeze the trigger and then just, oh, having a little doubt. Um, so eventually I just said, yep, yeah. you could see them taking steps. So I knew which way they were walking. So I said, yeah, come up the front leg and I know that's the front of the animal. And I just squeezed the shot and that one's gone down on the spot, but yeah. Oh. Well, there we are, two, two beautiful young animals. And yeah, really exciting hunt for me. I've never shot under the moon before and that was a new challenge. And I actually found it very exciting. And like to think that yesterday I was in Ireland in eight degrees and rain and 24 hours later, I'm in the south of France, shooting wild boar. Just a, a quick flight down, a short drive, a really, really, really good value hunt. It's just a, yeah, it's a real gem of a find for me. And I think I'll, I'll definitely be coming back here again.